What's up, YouTube? Here with a post five review video from Michaela Mayer versus Jennifer Hahn. You already know the results, but I'm going to give it to y'all anyway. Michaela Mayer was able to pick up a dominant, impressive, unanimous decision win to retain her lineal super featherweight titles. Uh, she improves her record to 17-0, and and this was her first fight. Uh, in her home state of California and she put on a great performance uh, for her home state crowd um, and yeah to do it versus a veteran like Khan hey um, this was you know I say her most uh, impressive win on her record um, her versus that French fighter what's her name uh, Hamadouche or something like that that was you know a Impressive performance as well. Um, so she just keeps getting better and better, man. Michaela May, I was impressed with her ring general shit, her uh, punch output, her accuracy, and her combos. Um, yeah, she was tagging. Uh, she was tagging on up pretty bad in this fight. There's talks of Michaela May going up to lightweight, and that's where the most recognizable name in women's boxing uh, is currently fighting at right now. And that's Katie Taylor, and she got a fight coming up with another household name in women's boxing, Amanda Serrano, coming up April 30th on The Zone. They headlining uh, that event uh, at Madison Square Garden. Uh, and, uh, that's next week, yeah, that's next week. Uh, them two are going to fight for Katie Taylor's uh, lightweight titles. And them, you know, main event in that Madison Square Garden on The Zone, um, that's that's huge for for not only women's boxing but the sport of boxing period because you know women's boxing has never had light shed on them like this before and you know with an event like that going down I think you know that's only good signs for women's boxing to come and Michaela Mayer's in that mix man and her putting on performances like this you know her few last fights you know you know she keep putting on like that you know it's only up from here. For Michaela Mayer and Katie Taylor and Michaela Mayer has both fought Jennifer Hahn and were both successful at defeating Hahn to retain their titles but I ain't gonna lie I think Michaela Mayer put on more of a better performance versus Hahn than Katie Taylor and I've seen both fights um I think Michaela Taylor did a better job at defeating Hahn than Katie Taylor did um and if Michaela May decides to stick around at Super Featherweight, you know, she could try and go for a title unification belt versus a Bond Gardner. Uh, you know, I think she's got the upper hand on that. But, you know, title unification belt are always, you know, important in the sport. Um, and, you know, I think that's that fight is, you know, what makes sense for Michaela Mayer to go after if she doesn't get the winner of Taylor and Serrano. But I think most likely she will, you know. Um, they got to do some, you know, uh, co-promotional work with top rank and match room um, if, they, if they were to, you know, uh, campaign for that fight. Not then she could go for a title unification bout with the WBA champion, undefeated South Korean super featherweight champion. I only seen her fight versus Salgado, but you know, and that was a impressive performance that Cho Hyun Min, I think that's her name, yeah. Um, you know, other than her fight versus Salgado, which I seen all the way back in twenty twenty, and that was the last time she defended her WBA WBA belt. Um, that would be a, you know, fun fight to see. Um, yeah, other than that, you know, the WBA belt and the WBC belt are the only belts that Michaela's missing to become the undisputed super featherweight champion. Um, you know, if she doesn't get the winner of Serrano and Taylor, I think, you know, either Baumgartner or Choi Hyun Min for a title unification belt is what should be next for Michaela Mayer. Um, there's also um, uh, two undefeated prospects at the super featherweight division, uh, one French, one British. The undefeated French fighter, her name is Makalad. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know her first name either, no disrespect, but she undefeated, she on the come up. And then the undefeated British fighter, her name is Terry Harper. Um, like I said, they're both undefeated prospects on the come up. Um, they could potentially challenge 
Michaela Mayer for her titles next if she doesn't get that uh, big fight versus the winner of Taylor Serrano or if she doesn't go for the unification title bouts with the other champions at Super Featherweight. Um, either, yeah, either Terry Harper or uh, Makalad. I think that's what makes sense for Michaela Mayer um, if she doesn't get, you know, either of those uh, fights that uh, I do out there. And anyways, that does it for this video, though. Um, I was impressed, like I said, by Michaela Mayer's performance versus Jennifer Hunt in her last fight. But how y'all think, you know, she fares versus the lineal featherweight and lightweight women's champion Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor? How, how, how do you see Michaela Mayer faring off versus those ladies? She's already in the mix as one of the top pound-for-pound women's fighter currently active right now. Um, she's most likely, you know, the favorite out of the champions at Super Featherweight to become undisputed at that weight class. Um, what y'all want to see next from Michaela Mayers? Uh, comment, subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff. And y'all be safe, be healthy, and I'm out. Peace.